Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Zigmoto. Um, today's video is going to be different. As you can see, this is not my VT600 that I'm working on, but this is actually my 2019 MV Agusta Dragster RR. This is the bike that I ride every day. Um, today's video is going to be about this headlight. Uh, I need to change the light bulbs because uh, boosts are allergen and I want to put LEDs so it can match the color of the spotlight and also give me a better uh, better light on the road in the evenings and being seen a little bit better. So um, let's get started, remove the set light and then change the light. So the small bolt on the side, the longer bolt on the top. Alright, so let me remove this clip here. So now we have the full headlight and we're going to be able to access everything through the back. So, all. all right, so first is first, I want to protect this headlight from any scratch or anything. Well, I'm going to put it on the other side. So, I just use some, some plastic. This will protect the screen of the headlight and while we work on this side. Alright, so this is your turn signal. Alright, so let's remove this cover. There you go. So, this is the H1, H11B. Alright, so this is the, the one on top, which, uh, so the H11B has the connectors that comes out, while the H11 have them cord, I'll show you the other one. And we have this white connector here, so those two are for the, the one on top, and the white one is for the one on the bottom. Gonna have a connector here. Let's remove it. All right. So in my case, I can recognize easily because there's no more plastic on this part. All the other one has it. Shouldn't matter, but uh, make sure you use the same uh, cable. Those are the negatives. Alright, so the other bolt is removed and you're gonna have the retentioner here, retainer, you're gonna have there, so I removed it, which opens up here and we have the bottom one. And the bottom one looks like, looks like this with the cable here. Alright, so let me get the, um, the other bulbs. Alright, so we have the headlight with the cover and the lights bulb removed. Uh, there is uh, three things that I got. Um, there is uh, 
H11 light bulb uh, right here. So it's not an H11B, but I got the connectors in order to use them. The H11B in is uh, a lot more complicated to uh, to use in this case, as basically, if you put an H11B, you most likely would have the fan uh, over, and you will not be able, able to um, you will not be able to put the cover back. So the idea is to use an H11 uh, because this is the same base. Uh, the connector is different but with the adapters here then we should be able to connect basically uh, the uh, headlight so this is one of them and the other one that I have is uh, is an H3 so this is the H11 um, so not H11B so you're gonna notice the difference quickly Um, the connectors are going to be different. This ones are right here, but covered, uh, so protected. While the H11B are fully open, uh, the rest of the of the uh, light is the same. And in terms of length, if you compare it to the base, it's pretty much the same. Um, it's actually yeah, it's pretty much the same in length. Uh, here you're gonna have the little uh, fan uh, for the LED. And uh, and this basically should fit easily uh, in in the case with the cover, the original cover. So just remember, those things are sold in pairs. Same for the adapters. And let's open this one here. So here we should have our H3 LED. Again, same sold in pair. I have two of them, so so this is the H3 version. Uh, so that's replacing this little guy. So in length, it's definitely longer. Um, I don't know if you can see. It's definitely longer in both sides. I'm not first one we're going to install is the H3 because we do not need to make any modification. So this one is going to be uh, pretty straightforward. So. Um, Make sure there is no. Make sure it's all clean and everything. And what you're gonna do is open up the internet. You're gonna see this little gap here, and they match basically this one. So you're gonna insert it this way. Go inside, and then make sure it enters those two gaps. Alright, so now we have the returner here, we're going to block it on one side. Alright, so I have one side down. We're gonna do the same on the other side as well. Alright, so now the bolt is secure, make sure it doesn't move. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect the white cable to the white. The white here. Um, they were all around here, so I'm going to do the same, put it back the same way it was, so it doesn't affect anything. And then the other black cable was right here. It was not necessary, necessary to remove, I just didn't want it to have it on the way. So uh, let's put it back here. There you go. So this is one done. I'm going to put the cable in there like this. Uh, I don't want it to touch the, the bulb itself, so let's do it like this. Alright, so this is one done. So um, the H3, is, as you can see, is pretty simple. So now let's take a look at our H11 bulb.
Alright, so uh, this is the connector for the H11. Before I get, uh, I, I go further, I want to make sure it works. Um, Alright, so it clips, no issue. Alright, it's easily removed. So, um, remember this cable, basically we're going to need to strip this and connect those things together. Um, before we go further, uh, another check is make sure that the bulb actually fits. Um, so there is three uh, clips on it, uh, three uh, piece uh, that clips. The larger one, you should notice it in this case, in this one it's actually following the split of the light here. It's going to be right here. Uh, you should see the difference between uh, between the three in terms of sizes. So let's insert it and see how it fits. Alright, so in our case it's not moving and what I'm going to try is try to see if it fits with the cap. Make sure it fits correctly and you can see it's actually it will fit nicely. Alright, so now that we are sure this fits, what we're going to have to do is connect the red with the red and the black with the black. Um, so let's remove those. Alright, so this is one done. Let's do the other one. Same thing on the other one. Okay, nice and secure, and we'll do the same for the shrink. So what it does, it's going to make it waterproof um, to make sure it's tightly fit around the cable basically. Alright, so our cable is done, um, everything is secured nicely here, and this will go to the light bulb. So what we want to do is find a way to put all of this securely in here. Um, the white cables goes around, so I'm going to follow the same thing to put as much cable away. You could shorten the cable more, but I wouldn't recommend it because if for any reason this doesn't work, at least you still have 
enough cable. Uh, so let's do this here. Alright, so the cable are a little better term of look. This gives me enough space for the bulb. So now we have the bulb. Let's um, let's insert it first and then connect it afterwards. So the bulb is secure and now I just insert this in there. And last step, the cover. All right, so let's cover. So on the cover, uh, I'm not sure if you see, but it's a little bit higher here. Um, not to worry about because this is not the LED uh, part. That's the connector. The LED fan is right here, so it has enough space uh, to ventilate in there, so it's pretty good. Um, and that's it for uh, this part. Now, time to put everything back on the bike. Time to put everything back. Um, so the advantage of having the plastic, you can just put it here for now. Um, you're going to have L and right, so left and right. Um, Make sure you connect the right ones. So the, this is the H3, this is the H11, so H3 works well, and to turn on this one I need to turn on the bike so you can enjoy also the sun. Don't forget to do that uh, and uh, stay in touch and I'll see you next time.